Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the chloralkali process and the three products which were formed. Now these three products which were sodium hydroxide, chlorine and hydrogen are taken in different combinations to make different salts which are used in our day to day life. So let's see these salts one by one in detail. So the first salt which we are going to see is bleaching powder. Now bleaching powder uses chlorine. Bleaching powder is produced by passing the chlorine over the dry slake lime. Now we know the dry slake lime has a chemical formula of calcium hydroxide. So let's see the reaction. Calcium hydroxide which is the dry slake lime when reacts with chlorine forms calcium hypochlorite which is nothing but bleaching powder and water. So we have seen the reaction of the bleaching powder. This bleaching powder is useful in the textile industries for bleaching cotton and linen. It is also used in paper pulp industry for bleaching the papers and usually we use in the laundries also. Now the bleaching powder is also important as oxidizing agent in many chemical industries. It is also used as disinfectant for drinking water to make it germs free. So we have seen the bleaching powder. Now let's see the second salt which we come across usually in our day to day life which is the baking soda. I picture tasty cake whenever I hear the word baking soda. Now the baking soda facilitates faster cooking. The reaction which takes place is sodium hydrogen carbonate when heated leads to the formation of sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide and water. Now the scientific name of baking soda is sodium hydrogen carbonate. It is a mild corro non-corrosive base. Now it is formed when sodium chloride reacts with carbon dioxide, water and ammonia to form ammonium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now baking soda is not only limited to cooking. It is used in the manufacturing of baking powder where it is combined with some of the edible acids such as tartaric acids. Now there the reaction which takes place is sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts with the hydrogen ion of the acid to form carbon dioxide, water and sodium salt of acid. Now the carbon dioxide which is released is responsible for the sponginess and the softness of the cakes and the baking products. Now the second use of the baking soda is also as an antacid. Since it is a mild non-corrosive base, it is used in antacids. So next time when you are suffering from acidity, you can also use baking soda. It is also used as soda acid fire extinguisher. So till now we have seen two salts which we use in our day to day life. Let's see the third salt which is the washing soda. Another chemical which is formed by the use of sodium chloride is washing soda which has a general formula sodium carbonate that dot 10 molecules of water. Now when we heat baking soda we obtain sodium carbonate and this sodium carbonate when recrystallizes form washing soda. So you can see the reaction when sodium carbonate reacts with water it forms the washing soda with 10 molecules of water. Now as the name suggests it is mainly used for cleaning purposes. Sodium carbonate is used in glass, soap and paper industries. It is also used in manufacturing of sodium compounds such as borax. The sodium carbonates can also be used as cleaning agents for domestic purposes. It is also used for removing permanent hardness of the water. Now you must be observing that there are dot 10 h 20 What does it signify? We will find out what does it signify in our next video.